Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Life on Board, Amy Jo. And last night we moored near Appleby Bridge. We were quite near the M6, but we didn't actually hear the traffic that much, which was good. And today we're heading towards Bursco to get some more, well, much needed supplies. And then on to Scarisbrook Marina, I think, today, if the weather holds out. Yesterday was appalling. We hated yesterday's weather. We just got soaked right through. <laughs> and we don't fancy that again today. So if it rains, we're more in up and staying in. Yeah, indeed. It was that horrible, fine, drizzly rain. And it just did, got worse as the day got on. We got absolutely soaked through to the skin. And uh, we, we ended up mooring up. We've got, found a lovely little spot here, right out in the middle of nowhere. Um, we can just about hear the M6 traffic in the background and there's a railway just opposite. Yeah, it was but a railway we heard was, more yeah. than the... But we'd had enough last, yesterday. Uh, everything was soaked. As, you, as you'll see on the video, all the inside of the pram hood was soaking wet. The floor <laughs> in the boat was soaking wet. Poor old Smudge was shivering with yeah. cold. He was that wet. <laughs> so we just gave up. But today's a different day. The forecast is dry, although overcast. So if you've got your cup of tea and coffee ready, and you're comfortable, we'll get going and start today's cruise. Yeah. Well, I'm guessing that swing bridge hasn't been used in a while. Looks like it's never going to be used again. if you can see what it says from here but it's portage this way swing bridge ahead we've noticed these signs all along the canal now must be a new incentive by CNRT for canoeists and paddlers and another swing bridge although it looks like this one might actually be operational but it's usually left in the open position now I know we have a few swing bridges on the way into Liverpool this one's clearly manually operated and there are a couple that are electrified and automatic. So, uh, two down, a few more to go. And bridge 43, our first closed swing bridge. Chris is now unlocking it and uh, hopefully lifting that handle. Lifted the handle, hopefully she can open the swing bridge. <laughs> she hasn't done one of these for a while, <laughs> she said. And there it goes. And we're just going to motor through. And now we're through. Chris is going to try and uh, close the lock, the lock gate. Or the bridge, sorry, not lock gate. And we are going to go and uh, retrieve her from the lock landing. Now, quite noticeable that these now have these platforms either side. On the Clan Golan, you don't have such uh, facilities, and it's really hard for a single hander. But they've made it really easy on the Leeds Liverpool for a single hander to. to um, open and close a bridge with these landings either side so it's really good. Our first uh, lock of the day, Appleby Bridge Lock or Appley Bridge I beg your pardon, not Appley, Appley and it's in our favour. This one's a double lock so to be safe time we're only opening uh, one lock gate today and as always the second one always opens on its own Obviously the ghost of Jacob Marley opening the lock gate. Well, there you go. We'll sort that. Chris opening the paddle. The 
clunk there you just heard was the gates behind closing and sealing themselves On your pop, lollipop. Good boy. On your pop, mummy. You never know where your footing is there. It's pretty obvious there hasn't been much boating traffic through here. The amount of weed down on the right hand side of the channel is a heck of a lot of it. Are you coming up the front?
just coming into the village of Parbold. It's quite a nice little village this, if I remember last time we were through here. It's quite pretty. Did we go left or right? Fortunately, my navigator on board tells me we go left. So that was a bit lucky. Really pretty in Parbol. We stayed here last time we came through. And uh, a lovely little village. Last time we moored, we were right where that boat is now. Where that boat's moored up there. Oh, lovely little village. Really picturesque. And the tower you can see in the background is actually a museum. Uh, it's also a gallery um, for artists to put their paintings in. Morning guys, Morning. where are you headed for? <laughs> oh, I've got your best side mate, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Our second swing bridge of the day and this one too is electrified. This is just operating the controls now. Barriers in place. The bridge won't open until the uh, stop barriers either side of the bridge are closed. That, that took a little bit of working out, but uh, the bridge should now open. And there we go. Bridge opening, we can go through. Let's give it a little bit longer. Much to the annoyance of the traffic. bridge now and we can get on our way. And another electrified bridge. This is bridge 33. And it's right on the outskirts of Bursco, so we're going to come through the bridge. Came up to him then, and he was a bit wary, wondering what do I do with it. <laughs> As Chris was saying, a dog approach smudge. He wasn't quite sure what to do. Um, I was saying we're going to go into Bursco. We're going to try and find a mooring and stop, so Chris can get some shopping. Uh, there's also a water tap, and then we're going to top up with water as well while we're waiting. My dad and his son are in for the, a ride on the bridge. Not sure whether they're supposed to do that, but uh, Dad's got him well in control. And there's Chrissy, at the controls. Just through this bridge hole is the Rufford branch, which leads up to Lancaster. And if any of you are following the Silver Foxes, they did a brilliant set of videos of their trip up the Rufford branch and uh, onto the Lancaster via the Ribble Link. Well worth a watch. Fortunately, we're too long at 67 feet, so we can't go down there. If you're cruising up this way and you're in need of water, just here is the bridge of the Rufford Junction onto the Rufford Branch. There is a water tap here, so you wouldn't recognize it and you could easily go past it. It's this little cubby hole here It was only by chance that I pulled up here 
sounds like I could go and try and find the water tap that I found it so there is a water tap here but it's well hidden and smudge came too all the pressure is not brilliant here so it might take a little while and uh, smudge is trying to get down so I'm going to go back that's it water tanks full now heading off into town see if we can find a mooring and Chris can get some shopping What a delightful garden. Looks like another mill being uh, worked on. Now apartments look really nice actually. Well we managed to sneak in a mooring between two boats by bridge 32A. Uh, which means that Chris can now go shopping. We need milk and bread and stuff like that, so she's going to go up the bridge and turn left. Apparently there's a spa up that way. Uh, in front of us are the services. There's two boats moored on them, so uh, we've managed to get on a mooring. We've got the bow on a pin, uh, on a ring, but we've had to put a pin in the stern. The ground is solid here, so the pin's not fully in. So as a result of that, I'm staying with the boat while Chris goes shopping shelf running along the side here because we've had to deploy the wheels I don't know if you can see the one up front there it's just behind that little hedge um, the wheels just hold us off from the bank and uh, stop us rocking on the sill that's underneath We're now getting underway Chris has come back from shopping she's delivered me some lunch now we've got some bread <laughs> and the sun is out the sky looks really good so we decided rather than stop here, we'll press on while the weather's good. And uh, we're just going to find somewhere to moor, probably around Tarleton. Um, we'll see how we do. Appreciate it. Well, I think we've upset a few motorists. <laughs> <laughs> right, stroke our luck. We, uh, if you can see the bridge in the distance, another electrified spring bridge and they, uh, a couple of boats just came through and they were about to close it and uh, they reopened it for us it was very good of them we were prepared to wait and uh, go and reopen the bridge but the uh, lady that was operating the bridge reopened it for us so that was really good so we came straight through so if you're watching this we didn't get your name but thank you ever so much for operating the bridge that was most grateful different hat on today. My last one got soaked. I had to dig out my boatman's hat. Just as well with the sun.
long-term moorings along this stretch. And we just passed one batch by a holiday park, Caravan Park, and now we've got this lot. So it's been tick over now for the last 20 minutes or so. Just under this road bridge you can see some railings and that is the entrance of Scarrasbrick Marina. And we need a pump out uh, so we're going to go in there if we can and uh, get the tank emptied and then uh, probably going to look for somewhere to moor up. Brief stop inside Scarrows Brick Marina. Very nice here, I have to say. Got the pump out done. It's all now sorted. Let's go find somewhere to moor. So we've left Scarrows Brook Marina and uh, heading up now. We're going to be stopping around, we think, Bridge 26. In that area, there's a couple of visitors' moorings that we can pull up on. And that'll be it for today. It's been a long day, but uh, we wanted to make the most of it while the weather was good. Well, we managed to find a lovely little mooring just after bridge 26 quite pleasant here and uh, a little bit noisy with the kids but hopefully it'll be all right later and chris is busy online trying to see if she can book us in for a meal tonight and once again the wheels have been deployed they're working there they're uh, waiting gold so that's it for this cruise folks we'll see you tomorrow